This is Johan Gamble. We're back playing uh, Nino Kuni. <laughs> oh, drippy. Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Last time, um, we met Oliver and uh, in Motorville. Unfortunately, though, Oliver's mother has passed away due to some fatal heart condition after rescuing Oliver from drowning. And unfortunately, Oliver was crying for three days, but he was able to revive. Lord Drippy, King of the High Fairies, with his Tears of Magic Pokemon 2000 stuff. And apparently we can go to another world and save Oliver's mom if we can defeat Shadar the Dark Dijin. So anyways, he told us to look in the fireplace in the last part. Thankfully, I will be actually be able to do a lot more talking than talking, talking in this part because there's not as many cutscenes. But, uh, huh? I don't know if that's a good thing. But it will burn in there. Not this book. The wizard's companion laughs in the face of fire. Wouldn't be much of a spell book if it didn't know, would it? This book is really? awesome, may I add. Aha, gotcha. No, it, it really is amazing. I think you got like this if you ordered this, this game or something. Or something there similar to this book. Companion, the fount of all wizarding knowledge. The wizard's companion. We have... Yep, so... The Wizard's Companion is really, really cool. So, I'll go ahead and show you real, just a real quickie. Oh, whoop. Oops, sorry for... I didn't mean to flip through that. I, I didn't realize Drippy was talking. My mistake. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I, I didn't actually mean to flip through that. He was just telling you what the Wizard Companion was. Sorry about that. I'm usually more careful, but I didn't notice that he was talking. I was just talking. So, that's why I gotta be careful. When you start talking, you don't notice other things. Blah, 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 blah. Let's put Johan. Alright, we have taken the wizard pledge. Tidy. Right. Magic in our way over to my world. Magic in. Mm, now let's see. What is it? You got a wand somewhere by here? We can't go casting spells without a wand now, can we? A wand? Why would we have a wand? Oh, that's a pain. Uh, well, well, we got a magic book. Why wouldn't we have a wand? Outside. Huh? We won't find one out there either. Don't nitpick, crybaby Bunting. Bunting? My name is Oliver. Oliver. Ah, so the crybaby bit was right, at least was it. Oh. <laughs> oh, Drippy, you card. I like the lantern on his nose. It's kind of cool. Alright, so we gotta find a wand. Hmm. So I mean, finding a magical book isn't as hard as finding a wand? I don't know, I think finding a magical book might be harder. Or would it? I don't know. Price of lovability. Encourageable liars. Brown and sticky. Jeez, I wonder what I could call that. A stick, you mean? Blunty. Okay, but before we follow her up, follow, her, follow Drippy, I want to first look at the wizard companion. Um, the wizard companion is really, really neat. So it, it right now it's kind of empty because um the pages as you as you see are ripped out. Now I will be going and getting all the pages. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna tell. Uh, I'm gonna be now because I did in my practice run. I'm gonna try again to get all the pages of the wizard companion back as well as do all the side missions. So that's going to take a minute, and here's some alchemy stuff. Oh my god, I am trying to get the platinum on this, and the alchemy trophy is such a pain in the ass. <gasps> uh, but anyways, so here we have familiars. Now, this won't come into play for a while, but ev what's really cool is every monster you can fight in the game, except for bosses, are in these books. So these are all monsters that we can fight in the game. So yeah, you can read about them and stuff. And these blank pages are the bosses that we will have to fight. But yeah, every monster in the game, you pretty much can read about right here. And they all have their own stats. Even tells you um, um what items you can get from them. Iron Diamond, Sun Drop, Sleeping On, Shadow Glass. It's it's really cool. And uh, when I first got this game, actually, it was a birthday gift. I mean, not a birthday gift. It's, it's my, almost my birthday, but not quite. Um, it was a Christmas gift from Bella. Um, and she got me this game, and I was like, whoa, holy shit! And then I spent like a whole, just like a whole, just like, like a whole night waiting for it to upload, I mean, to download to my, um, PlayStation, and then I just read, like, so much of 
the book. You got equipment. You can see. You can read the equipment, which is really neat. Um, we can read magic. We don't have any magic. The only magic we do have is gateway. The gateway formed by the spells or the only way to travel between this world and one of the many other worlds in existence. Casting gateway requires you to focus your thoughts upon the world to which you tr wish to travel. It is also imper imper magic important to imagine that you have already left the world in which you cast the spell. So yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Um, what else is there? Um, provisions. This also shows you pretty much every item in the game that you can run across. These aren't even items we get till very late in the game. Um, and it also tells you where they can, where you can find them. Some items, though, like really rare ones. I'm looking at you, glowstone and uh, and Kilio stone won't tell you where they are um, because they're really rare and stuff like that. Um, what else is there? Um, okay, we don't have anything for the tales, but they're really long stories. Um, and then we have uh, some map already. We have a little bit of the map. So this is where we're going to be going. This is the whole world map. Um, we don't travel anywhere in Oliver's world, though. There's nothing to do here. And then here's alchemy. Um, but also, I know I'm taking a lot of time, but this is a really cool thing. Um, whoops, first, here's the, the alphabet, which is pretty neat. Um, but then, um, here's the, uh, pledge we took. So you can actually start at the beginning of the page, and, um, you, it even has a index. It has the context. So you can actually go through this stuff, and it, it's really neat, because it's, it, it feels very much like a real book. It's really, really cool. I, I really like I went through the book and read, I think, pretty much everything when I first got this game. I didn't even play the game until the next day. I just read everything. Of course, I forgot most of it, but, um... <laughs> But it's uh, it's definitely really neat and a very cool attention to detail that there's so much to it. So yeah, now that I spent like 10 minutes um, on that, I'm, I'm sorry. I just wanted to show you that before we left because I thought it was cool. I thought it was cool. What are you looking at? Oh, we're not going to be getting a car to like post a game, you silly man. Oh yeah, now we have the bottomless bag. This is where we just keep our item. And we get a lot of items in the game. It's pretty damn helpful. None of that Demon Souls weight equipment. And so yeah, from now on, um, uh, Drippy will follow you. So yeah, Drippy always follows you. It's kind of funny. It's like our own little Navi. Except this guy's cooler. I mean, I had no problem with Navi, but I really like Drippy. He's got definitely a personality. Nothing that looks like a one. We'll just grab a stick from that, uh, just grab a branch from that tree. Oh, jeez. Alright. Will do. <laughs> I like Drippy. He's so cute. Brown and sticky. Brown and sticky. Hey, it's that green haired girl. Green hair. Green haired girl from yesterday. And, oh, it doesn't let me do it yet. I was about to say, you can actually go in the first-person mode to look at stuff, but it doesn't let us do it here. You're, you're the little girl I met before, huh? Mm-hmm. We met before. So, how do you know who I am? I'm really, really sorry, Oliver. Huh? Your mummy. I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. Huh? I don't... Why would you be sorry for that? I wanted to save her. I really did. Huh? Hey, wait. Where are you going? Hey, where did you go? Ollie boy, why are you talking to thin air? Mr. Drippy, she disappeared again. Huh? Who did? That strange girl. That's the second time she tried to talk to me. What's that? A girl? Where? You're right about strange. I can't see her any flipping where. Well, how could you? She disappeared into thin air. Well, anyway, there's something I want to ask you. There is? Uh, sure, go ahead. Do you mind it, you know, having a sidekick, like? Huh? A sidekick? Who do you mean? Crikey, that's cold. Who do you mean, he says? Why not stab me in the heart while you're at it? 
I mean me. I wanted to know if it was all right me joining you on your adventures. God, you yes. Maybe wanting to trade me in for a younger, prettier model. But it looks never. like I got my answer, huh? Never, well, Drippy. So you know, there could be no one prettier people, than you. You'll never see their true worth. And what's more? Look at this. Huh? It was on the ground, right where that girl was standing. Chuck it here, then. Top. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's a wand. You mean it? A real wand? Come over by here and take a look, man. It might seem like any old stick, but it's got all magic writing on it, see? It does, huh? Wow. Is that how people ride in your world? The rooms are all faded, so it might have lost a bit of power. But, for our current purposes, it's a beauty. Neato! What a stroke of luck. Luckier than you know, Ollie boy. Dude, I never thought we'd actually find one. Do you think maybe that girl brought it here for me? Mm. Yes, we have obtained the old sticks. Right. Now, now we can actually to go spell. to another world. To cast gateway, you need somewhere proper massive. Ha, <laughs> that's funny, because every time we use it in the regular game, we can do it in the tightest corridor if we wanted to. You need well, okay, to that's not technically it. true. We can do it anywhere on the world map, pretty much. Do we really need that much oomph? Mm. Yeah, what kind of question is that? Magic is special, isn't it? It's sacred, right? You have to cast spells in the best environment possible. You really are new to this, aren't you? This is beginner stuff we're talking about here. Oh, uh, sorry. Now, take me somewhere with plenty of space. It's got to be somewhere around by you. Um, the town square, I guess. All right. I don't think we ever go to the town square again. Like, I don't think you ever get the chance to go there, do you? Where is it on the map? Yeah, you can never leave this part of the town right here. There's nothing ever outside. And you only come here for special events or, like, story-related stuff. Or if you just want to respawn enemies by coming here and then just going back to where you were. It's a pretty nice, it's a pretty nice trick to get enemies to reappear. <laughs> but, yeah. Not that that matters. It's time for more beautiful animation! Normal people can't see magic. See? Look at Drippy go. go on, so Ollie cute. Boy. Okay, Cast I'll stop talking gateway. about how cute he is, I promise. Um... No, I won't. I'll, I'll totally break that promise. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, Gateway! <gasps> That's it, man! You got it! Shunting, cry baby bunting. Oh my god, he's so cute! Oliver. Hey, it's not bad work for a cry baby, this. Oh. And we're off to another world! Hey, wait! Wait for me! Shall we? Huh? Hey, wait for me! <sighs> so this is... your world. Ah, home at last! But there's a tidy way to go yet. Hey, Mr. Drippy, that was pretty neat just now, huh? Oh, that herd of elk! Enjoy your first encounter with the majestic wildlife of our mysterious world, did you? Uh-huh. Huh? huh? Jeepers. Oh, Nickers! Where did he spring from? Uh, uh, 
What do we do? He's not like the big softies just now. He's itching for a fight. Proper savage. Let's run away. No, use that stick you got by there. Give him a whacking and send him packing. Huh? Huh? Ah! Look, Lively, he's making his move. Well, if you say so, Drippy, I mean, if I got to, I'll beat the shit out of a dog. If you told me to, Drippy, I'll do whatever you want. Just love me. All right, <laughs> anyways. Um, so here we're introduced to the battle mechanics. It's it's pretty fun. It's um it's kind of like I don't really know how to explain anything. Um, you know, you got your HP and you got your MP, and you can just and there's the rough, his um life. Um, and then here's our um our <laughs> bubble thingies. That's that's actually a good way to our thingies, which tells what we can do. We can only attack, defend, provision, which are just items, and then run away. Um. So yeah, but um, now see, he says to use the directional pad to um, change from attack to, uh, you know, to change what you want to do. But actually, it's far more useful if you use the R2 and L2 because, you know, moving, you know, moving your hand from the directional pad, I mean, from the directional stick to directional pad during battle isn't particularly useful because you don't want to... You know, you want to be moving. You can dodge a lot of attacks if you're in motion. And so that line, basically like from Final Fantasy XII, and now we're just going to beat the crap out of him. Pow! Alright. Oh, nice. Um, when that happens, a little orb will appear, which are called glims. You pick those up, those, those can come in uh, three different flavors. You got green, which is HP. You got blue, which is MP. And then you got a gold one, which gives you a special... Which, um, depending on who you're using... Has a very special attack. With Oliver, it does massive damage. It's gonna beat the crap out of this dog. Oh, and that little clock thing on the left is just how long your attack or defense or how long it takes for your um, ability to recharge. So there, our first battle. And there's our level screen, and we got three things of gold. So pretty simple. Nothing. I mean, it gets a little more complex, but it's pretty fun. It's a lot. It's it's a good battle system. I like it a lot. Our world is absolutely riddled with beasties, but keep that up. I love this. Right, let's get absolutely away. riddled with beasties. Sure, Mr. Thanks for not telling me, Drippy. Where are we going? Well, first off, we need to get you a wand. But I already have a wand. You're having a lot. It's a piece of crap. That thing's about as magical as a flipping cabbage. You might just squeeze. Wow, you got some magical cabbages over here. You can forget about anything more than that. Honestly, I wish you'd think before you open your mouth. Oh, uh, sorry. Now, I told you Ding Dong Dell was just over by yonder, didn't I? Well, if we're very lucky, we might find a wand with a bit more oomph down by there. So, are wands really so hard to find here? Well, time was you couldn't move for the flipping things. But since Shadar showed up, magic's taken a real nosedive. He banned people from using it, see? Cursed anyone who tried to. He scared them all so much, they gave it up. So, he's pretty scary, huh? Well, he turned me into a flipping doll, didn't he? Just saying his name's enough to make most folks prick it. Still, I'd rather be a doll than have him go poking round in my heart. No one wants to be broken-hearted. Broken-hearted? Like, sad? Worse than that, much worse. It's when he steals a piece of a person's heart. Poor beggars don't know whether they're alive or dead. That's no way to live, man. So that's why they're all so scared of him, huh? We can't let him go on doing this. Well, it's not a matter of letting him, is it? It's not like people flipping enjoy it. That's why I brought you here, innit? You might just be able to stop him, see? You really think I can? Of course you can! You are the pure-hearted one! And the legends say that the pure-hearted one will drive away the darkness! We'll teach you a few tasty spells and you'll be ready to face him in no time! Sound good to you? See that karate chop? We'll do okay, that to Shadar. Do it. That was a good I'll karate chop, magic. Mr. Drippy. Of course you will! And that's why we need to find you a better wand! Alright. Let's head for Ding Dong Dell. Tidy. Tidy. Oh man, I remember when I first went to Ding Dong Dell, I was like, wow. I spent just a lot of time just traveling around. Did I mention I, love, I really like this game? It is beautiful. So this is the world map. Anyways, you can see monsters on the world map. Um, so yeah, when they have a snake exclamation, they know you're there. Um, you can also sneak up on enemies. Um, so he just gave us some bread, which is used for eating. Now, you might have noticed these little sparkly things on the... Um, a floor over here you come over to them and they have um, items 
Um, now these items uh, can be used, you know, you can sell them. Um, some are used for, you know, uh, missions, side missions, which I plan to do all of them. So it's going to take a minute. Um, and also um, uh, things like that. Uh, but also later on when we get alchemy. Now right now, because we're such a low level, enemies will charge at us. But when we get to a high enough level, they will start to run away. And also they can get the upper hand. But if you just keep moving at the beginning, they won't be able to do anything. Now I think off screen, I might do a bit of tra- Oh, obviously. Um, I might do a bit of training. I'm not 100% sure. The thing is though, there's not really any penalty for dying in this game. I don't recall one. I mean, I died so few times, but that's just because I'm pretty careful with my grinding. So yeah, I think, um, I think getting to level, um, three would be a good idea just for me to do off screen real quick. Um, but yeah, and over here is just some, uh, Boss spring water. We'll be needing those later. But you know, I'm going to end the video here. I'm just going to go ahead and do just a little bit of off screen. Okay, as my voice cracks, it makes me sound weird. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to just do a little bit of off screen grinding. So, this video, I'm Gamble. Thanks for watching. See you next time as we continue to play more uh, Nino Kuni Let's and go. head to Ding Dong Dell. So, hopefully, we can find a real wand. Okay, yeah. bye then.